Insulators are materials that heat finds it difficult to travel through. They're really useful when we're looking at unwanted energy transfers because they stop heat escaping a system. Now, for this practical, we're going to be looking at how the thickness of a material affects how well it insulates something, in this case, hot water. We're going to be using some beakers of hot water that are surrounded by different amounts of tinfoil. The amount of tinfoil, or the thickness of the tinfoil, is our independent variable. It's the thing that we're changing. In this beaker, I've got one layer of tinfoil. This, I've got two layers. And this, I've got three layers. Everything else about the practical needs to be kept the same, because everything else is a control variable. For example, each of these beakers is the same type of beaker. It's the same size, and I'll fill it with the same amount of hot water. I'll leave them all for the same amount of time, and afterwards, I'll measure the change in temperature of the water. The change in temperature is our dependent variable. It's the thing that will change because we've changed our independent variable. So, all I need to do now is fill up my beakers with water. I'm filling them each to 200 millilitres, which I can see on the inside of the beaker, but you can't because it's covered by the tinfoil. Now I'm going to cover each of these with a lid to stop energy transferring from the top. And I'm going to measure the starting temperature. This should be equal for all three beakers, as they've all had the same hot water going in there. If I give it a few moments to stabilise, I can see that for each of these beakers, it is 78 degrees Celsius. And that's important, because I need to make sure the starting temperature is the same for each one. All that's left to do is to press start, and to leave it between 5 and 15 minutes so the water can cool down. Then I'll record the final temperatures and work out the change in temperature for each beaker. So, the experiment's been running for just over eight minutes now, so we can stop the stopwatch and we can have a look at how the temperatures have changed. Now, if we look at the first tinfoil, which is one layer, we notice that the temperature is now about 66 degrees Celsius. We started at 78, so that's given us a 12 degrees Celsius reduction in temperature. The two layers of tinfoil has now gone to 69 degrees Celsius, so that's a nine degrees Celsius change. And finally, the three layers of tinfoil has reduced to 70 degrees Celsius. That's an eight degree temperature change. So we can see that the three layers of tinfoil has reduced the temperature the least. That means that the thicker your material, the better it is as an insulator. Now, there's lots of other things that you could choose as your independent variable in this investigation. Possibly you could change the size of beaker and use the same volume of water in each. Or you could choose the same size as beaker, but vary the volume or you could vary the material that you wrap your beaker in. As long as you keep everything else the same in your experiment and you control those other variables, you should still have valid results.